Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Half Life, also featuring my wife. Hey, I'm Sarah. Hi. Um, we're looking at ugly 1990s Gordon Freeman here. Yeah, and I was asking, I was like, now why does this not look as nice and polished as as Freeman's mind uh, yes. portrayed it to be? And I was like, why are we playing the ugly version? So Sarah's only expertise with Half Life is Freeman's mind, and honestly, not a bad place to start, but. Uh, this is the original Half-Life. There are three versions of Half-Life. There is Half-Life 1, which is what I'm playing, and it runs on an engine called Gold Source, which is actually a modified version of the Quake engine. About 90% of the code is ripped out and replaced with what Gabe wanted, but it was, at some point, the engine used for fucking Quake, you know? A little ship of Theseus moment here, but yeah, this used to be the Quake engine a long time ago. Hey, Alfie. Yeah, I don't. I don't uh, mean to interrupt your shop talk here, but can you pull up a picture of DC Douglas and do a side side by side? Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Favorite voice actor. Um, he played Wesker in Resident Evil Five. He's um, honest to God, he is like one of those English voice voice actors for anime that you hear all the time, like J. Michael Tatum. Um, and other examples that I can't think of right now. Um, he also played in Sharknado. <laughs> that was really fun. Um, but anyway, I just saw this guy and I'm like, DC Douglas. You know what? He honest Gordon actually looks more like Benedict Cumberpatch in this. Yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch, but only when he's Doctor Strange. Only when he is pre-magic Doctor Strange, in fact. Pre-magic? So uh, is there a Doctor Strange 2? Or... The only Doctor Strange like lore I'm aware of is the first Doctor Strange, and I have not watched Infinity War or... Um, um, yeah, you're really behind like on the that. MCU. You're not missing that much Doctor Strange stuff. He only shows up in Ragnarok, which you have seen, and in Infinity War. But um, Doctor Strange 2, which I don't know if it's going to be called 2, but that's coming out. Okay, yeah. I'm, like, nicely surprised by how good Doctor Strange was, and you enjoyed it much more than I did. I think the only issue... Ugh, excuse me, I'm drinking... Huh, tea too fast and getting hiccups, but um. <laughs> what a good conversation for Benedict Cumberpatch. Uh, the only, <laughs> the only issue I had with it was um, my wife, who I can't remember the name of. You know the whole her oh, like taking oh, on the you know, Irish the part of, Asian one. Yes. Yes, yes. Her name eludes me right now, but she's the White Witch. Tilda Swindon. Tilda Swinton, thank you so much. I I fall in love with these these actor women who I cannot pronounce their name. Like my my another favorite of mine, her name is Mia Waskinkova or something like that. She plays um she she plays uh Alice in the 2010 Alice in Wonderland with uh Tim Burton directed it and uh I really thought you were about to say she plays Alice in Resident Evil and I was going to hang up this fucking Discord call. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is that is Mila Jokovic. I do know how to pronounce her name, but every time I look at her first name, I'm like, ah, yes, Mia, because of the double L's. Forgot to fucking put on subtitles. Oh, man, please tell me that they still have subtitles. Oh, please have subtitles, because I can barely hear the game. Oh, boy. And if you're deaf, fuck you. Uh, 97. Guess you can't have subtitles. It is too new. I mean, maybe they already have subtitles. I mean, you know. Look at this bitch. <laughs> the time is eight. See, you got locked out. Yeah. You actually play as that guy in one of the expansions. Is there an easy way to remember Tilda Swinton's name? With an estimated high uh, no. Wait, you play as that guy? Is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at You're really tempted to just recreate uh, Freeman's mind, aren't you? Oh my god, so tempted. It's it's crazy this how applicable everything that... From level I forget his name. The, the, the company is Accursed Farms, but I forget what his name is. 
but like everything he says is so on point. This is not a democracy. I have the gun. I am in charge. North Korea be like. North Korea do be like. Okay, question. In yes. the source version that is Freeman's mind, isn't there two rows of chairs in this little cart? Uh, there might be, one? honestly. Oh my gosh, they have a handicap space. That's they so do, specific. actually, yeah. It's a government nice. agency you're working for here. Yeah, they gotta at least look like they care about people. Yeah. Oh yeah, so the, the third version I didn't mention. So this is Gold Source, which is the oldest version that came out in either 97 or 98. Um, so this game is about... Uh, it's younger than me by about like eight or nine months, I would say. You said 97 or 98? Yeah, I think it's 98. Then it would have... Well, I mean, if it's 98, then... November 98. November 98. So, so it's younger than me by... Nine oh, it's younger than you. I thought you said it was older than you, and I'm like, are you trying to pretend that you're younger on the internet? Or older? I can't... I can't piece what I'm trying to say together. You see, long ago I lied about my age to get onto one of those pornography websites, and I've had to keep up the illusion ever since. <laughs> so yeah, um... Ooh. Alfie, are you catfishing your fans? <laughs> no, I'm 23 and a half. Oh my gosh, I forget how old we are sometimes. Yeah, you do, don't and you? And I, I don't, I don't mean old as in like, oh, you know, your elderly. Age. I mean, I mean, I just mean age. I forget our age. Like, I told, like, I didn't tell anybody, but like, I got worried when I was at a bar. I was like. I'm 21, right? Right? Yeah. Like I, I fucking got ID today. I, I was at, a, I was at a casino earlier today with my friends because I do cool things, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, you can see Gordon Freeman's readout here. He has a PhD at MIT for theoretical physicists, and he's only a research associate. I really wish I understood. Physics. You understood what? I, uh, I really said I really wish I understood physics. I, you know, I very much like, you know, my. You know the medical biology background I have and and stuff, but like physics just eludes me, and I really wish it didn't. Yeah. Now mathematics, mathematics is also something that eludes me, but I do not wish to understand it very yeah. well. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. Nah, fuck my thing. My cats are going nuts out there. Yeah, here's this big robot. I love this guy. You know what that reminds me of? Giant worker ants. No. Do you know that one vine that, like, there's, like, a little robot dog thing, and it's, like, walking around, and it, like, slips on the the wooden floor, and it, it like, fades to black and white. It's, like, all around me are familiar faces. Yes, I do know what you're talking about. It slips on a fucking banana peel, of all things. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, comic. That that is a that is a classic. You know, the yeah. banana peel along with like putting your own hands on your back and making kissy noises. Classics. <laughs> so, right off the bat, look at this gigantic fucking chemical spill. If you feel you have been exposed to I okay, I love this role, but I kind of want like a Lego set that's Half-Life. Oh, that'd be great. Did How you know? Would that okay, be? hold on. There's a, there's a really cool detail in one of the DLCs for this. You go and you go past that tank. Except it has like uh these like ugly huge patchworks on the side. Uh, and if you no clip into the tank, there's a skeleton in there. Oh my fucking god. Implying that somebody Please died fixing it minutes after Freeman went by. You know, as someone who um, is about to work for a government agency, uh, I know nothing about the government yet. But what I will say is that it is believable that they would let something like that happen and still have the facility running. Just thousands and thousands of gallons of glowing green toxic waste seeping into the groundwater. And Fed directly into a baby's bottle. <laughs> uh that that reminds me of like my my friend um you know I won't name na name names for privacy's sake but she is from a different country and 
she asked me very politely, very honestly, how do you throw away batteries? <laughs> and I straight face just say, oh, I just chuck them right into the fucking ocean. <laughs> 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 and 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 then like i was with a group of people uh, and they were like okay but how do you really you know throw your batteries away and i was like honestly i never figured out how exactly i'm supposed to so i just throw them in the trash and they said oh so the same thing and i'm like fuck yeah <laughs> yeah i'm a bad person i know so i'm sorry the the intro of half-life is great because you do get a little bit of freedom here let me see if i can Yep. You can kill yourself. Hmm. The last choice. <laughs> yep. The philosophical last choice. Look at like, how huge I feel, and... like, I feel like this is different in source. Like, small things. Like, I remember the pathway being a little longer. Oh, yeah. There's, and I don't know. There's thousands of tiny, tiny differences between Gold Source and Source version. The third version, by the way, is Black Mesa, which is technically a separate game. Um, it came out two years ago. Oh my god, that's yeah. nice. It's a very recent remake of it that uses the modern Source engine used properly. Instead of... Quit that. My cat's being bad. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago. And I'm oh my god, hey, what are that. you doing? So, uh, this guy basically tells you that um, uh, their entire system crashed, and you can see fucking Windows blue screens all over the shop. Okay, when are you trying to leave this place? Okay, say you're paid a lot. Say you're you're six digits, right? Yeah. And you're you're in threat of losing your job. Do you leave when you see the oil spill, or do you just go into work and see what what's happening? Well, assuming that we take Freeman's mind as canon, which we should. Uh, he's just not going to say anything, and uh, if they ask, Hello. he's going to pretend not to speak English. You're in the barrel tonight, Freeman. Suit up. You're in the barrel today. Hey, look at this guy. What a fucking dork. Who are suits? Okay, remember this guy. He is officially known as the G-Man. Just mm -hmm. remember him is all. I will, I will. You know, what? what's a wonderful thing about my memory is that I forget things... And it, it's not that I forget things, because they're all stored in this brain of mine. It's just I have trouble recalling information. Um, okay. Is I get to experience things like new, <laughs> even though they're not new to me. Yeah. So I totally forget who the G-Man is. I feel like he's like some undercover guy or something like that. But like, no, it's just completely eluding me. And when this it might be finally later, happens beer. who it is then i'll understand you you will you will reckon you will understand who the g-man is come come time when it is come time yes they weren't kidding about the barrel yeah so yeah um between the giant fucking oil spill that is by the way probably like plutonium water or something and the fact that every computer in here is blue screening I don't think today is a great day to be at work, you know? Is plutonium real, or is that just from Monsters vs. Aliens? Yes, plutonium is real. Can we do this later? <laughs> what do you take me for? I'm not a scientist. Sorry, Mr. Freeman, I got so you can see that this is a... Sorry, uh... sir. I've got to stay at my post. Access denied. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do in this version. No, where did I leave that shit? I think you cut out a bit on me, but that's okay. I'm sorry, dear. Fill the air while I can't hear you. <laughs> ah, hello, yes. Freeman. It's good to see you. Ooh, soup. Someone has a microwave casserole. Most of the Ah, good for them. Oh. You doing? I've destroyed your marvelous microwave casserole. God, I have, like, nightmares of being that guy who spills something in the microwave. <laughs> Remember this microwave casserole as well, actually. Yes. I'm not it's kidding when I say it comes back. Have you ever spilled something in, like, a communal microwave and you just felt so fucking embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you 
<laughs> Coomer. Oh my god, I forgot that that actually said that. Yeah. <laughs> that a slur? <laughs> That's a slur. At this point. So, Mark Laidlaw is the guy who wrote this I feel game. Like I feel like that's something. I feel like that's something that a bunch of people would call my brother. Mm, you know what? Yeah. So Mark anyway, Laidlaw is sorry. the guy who wrote this game, uh, and he put himself in here. A lot of these mm -hmm. guys, as well, are actually uh, these are dev names. Hey, what's in your locker? Get in there! Come on, click there we through go. it. Oh. So there's a baby picture. Oh, that's not a bad pick. This Thank is, you. uh, I think it's actually Mark Laidlaw's daughter, but in universe, this is Gordon Freeman's niece, I believe. We can see his yeah, diploma. The... We can see what a type of what type of fucking like <sighs> fucking tool keeps his diploma in his locker at work to remind himself of it. Honestly, once I get my diploma, and especially if I if I have a PhD, I'm gonna make multiples of that and put them everywhere just to remind everyone. <laughs> That's funny. You know what? Maybe he had to bring it in for verification because this is like kind of pre-internet. Well, um, I bet he definitely looks the part. And uh, like maybe he had to make multi. Uh, maybe he had to bring it in just for verification, and then he never brought it home. You know, he just forgot it. You know what? I want that mug. Yeah, I do too. And this thermos. These books are books by Mark Laidlaw, as you can see. And then there's this shitty fucking raincoat. And then this is a battery that we'll use. Someone you know what? I again. I cannot stand how much I love and enjoy mugs because I fucking hate clutter. And I hate having a bunch of dishes. But I see a mug and I'm like, I have to have that mug. To the point where our 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 cabinets at home are just going to be filled to bursting with different mugs. They already are. Oh, here's a piece of Half-Life lore, by the way. So there are three Half-Life DLCs expansions. Mm -hmm. Um, one of them is about one of the military guys you play. Uh, one of the military guys you fight in this game. It's called Opposing Force because it's a physics joke. One of them you play as one of the security guards. Yep. And in the last one, you play... It's co-op, actually. And you play as the holder of those two suits. Nice. Um, I don't... I don't... I don't want to, like, knowledge shame. Um, because I feel like any particular, like, knowledge you have on a subject is, you know, credible and worthy of, like, being put into media. But there is some really just, like, simple-ass fucking shit put into half-life and they're like oh yes it's a big time company and it's like the pythagorean theorem on a whiteboard <laughs> yeah <laughs> like guys come on you're gonna forget the pythagorean theorem at this point so this i mean is... i know i know i would but i'm not a physicist though <laughs> anyway sorry <laughs> this is the uh hev mark IV. Welcome it's uh it's your suit Oh, I thought you were just taking it. Hey, could you, um, could you, like, lay down the, kind of, like, the chrono chron chronology of, um, the Half-Life games real quick? Uh, do you want me to include Portal? You know what? Yeah, please include Portal, actually. All right. Aperture Science is founded in, like, the, like, 40s to 60s range. Mm, I'm, t I'm just talking, I mean... Actually, go ahead. The the government says, "Oh shit, a company is co is starting to get ahead of us on scientific developments. We need to get some shit going with science." They found Black Mesa as a counter to Aperture Science. There we okay. go. I forgot that ended my suit. Um, so, both... so in, in if we were to compare that to real life, what two companies are going to be competing like those two? Um, Tesla and Edison with a government backing. Oh, I was going to say like Disney and like the Looney Tunes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Go on. Anyway, Aperture Science's big breakthrough is um, teleportation within this universe. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Black Mesa has teleportation through another universe or to a separate universe. Okay, quick side note. I know you're trying to like get through two words without me interrupting, but you know that you know that uh 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 philosophy theory that's like it's the Star Trek theory like, "Oh, if you teleport, is that really you or did you die? They recreated you." And I my answer to that is Who's making my machine? <laughs> yes. The answer is, did Aperture make it or did Black Mesa make it? Right? And the, like, so... Is this like, the elevator? That, that, that's, a, that's a question that's always posed. And when philosophical questions are posed, I love philosophical questions. There is always the thing that I like to point out. That, like, when you're doing, a, like, you know, a thinking, a thought argument... You know, you also have to think about, like, hey, would this really exist in real life? Because, like, you know, honest to God, are the cr what are the creator's intentions? And that's what you would be asking yourself. Yeah. But, um, so Aperture, is that the good one? Is that the bad one? Are they, um, are both chaotic bad? and lawful. Aperture's the chaotic okay. one. We're the government, so we're lawful. Wait, so who's lawful? We are. Black Mesa. Black Mesa is lawful. Who do you like more? I like Aperture Science more, but mostly because their fucking CEO is voiced by J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, fuck yes. So who does who does Freeman work for right now? Freeman works for Black Mesa and does so kind of forever. Hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. So Black Mesa is government. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Okay. Jeremy? Uh, yes. Black Mesa government. Okay. Yep. Uh, it's currently the late 90s. We, we have a big old breakthrough with teleportation. Took them like 50 years? Yeah. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. You said it was the 40s when they got started, right? Uh, the 40s when Aperture got started. The U.S. government started in uh, 1770s. Oh, and that's kind of like, oh, it's like a, hey, you guys can't be making big breakthroughs without the government, can you? Uh, pretty much. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. This guy says they're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. He does it so fucking ominously for no reason. So this does is. He do it omin does he do it ominously, or does he do it like with a flirting, like? Definitely what ominously. Your, what if that's your like job husband? This guy has a wife. Okay. These people actually all come back in Half Life Two. Oh, so they didn't get shot. Yeah, this guy's Eli Vance. Um. I forget who, who's supposed to be who of these guys, but most of them come back. You think they're balding because they're old or the stress? I think it might just be a requirement to work here. Look at these guys. <laughs> oh, you also have by the way, like look at this fucking computer that just exploded and started smoking. You said this is the 90s, right? Yeah. This place, like, looks like it's from the 50s, where, like, a computer would take up an entire room. Yeah. There's actually a computer in here that you can find in the tentacle area. Uh, there's the elevator. That uses, uh, those little, like, feed tapes. Ugh. You know, you have to ask yourself, how much of the things we see in-game is intended to be like functional versus aesthetic yeah like what is this even doing and let me tell you after being in a lot of different labs nothing is aesthetic but nothing is functional either <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you the fucking scientists don't know how to fucking organize or clean and like especially research scientists they just throw shit everywhere and like discover it 10 years later like i'll i'll find reagents that are like literally older than me i found i found reagents older than me in a biochemistry lab i worked in and i was like what is this doing here how much older 
We have assured the administration. It's from like ninety six. That's uh, yikes. Yes, you're right. I was like, is this allowed? <laughs> well, go ahead. Let's Access try it denied. So anyway, it's the nineteen nineties and uh, We've got a no. thing. We've got a thing we want to test. We've got this big machine. We've got a uh, Pentagon. And we've got this thing. Testing. Testing. Okay, and this is Black Mesa. Yeah. Seems to be in order. Okay. So, okay, just just break down to me. You don't have to tell me what's it kind of... You can give me a brief kind of idea of what's in the games, but, like, year by year in the real world, when do the Half-Life games come, come out? And you can include Portal. Um, honestly, loosely concurrent with their day of release. So this was released in the 90s. It takes place in the 90s. Half-Life 2 actually probably takes place a little after that, but... Um, Portal takes place kind of during um, Half-Life 2's shenanigans. One cool thing about all of the DLCs for Half-Life 1 is that they all take place during uh, Half-Life 1. It's, it's like in RE2, where everyone's story is going on at the same time. I love stuff like that. Mm -hmm. More things need to do it. I love scenario systems. I think people are afraid to do that because they're like afraid to like get into loopholes and stuff and I'm just like I mean if you make the stories at the same time there is actually a thing in one of the DLCs where playing as Adrian Shepard you can do your job and shoot Gordon Freeman in the back because of course that's what you're supposed to be doing and it gets you a game over I fucking love that yeah wait so what's Half-Life let's see Half-Life 2, Episode 3? Never come out. It never came out? Yeah. It says 2020. Oh, uh, here it is. What happened to Half-Life 3? So, before you read anything, I ask you to direct your attention here. Oh, sorry. This is the thing. This is the thing that they've got. They've got this big, healthy chunk of something from another dimension. And we're basically going to have a... We're basically going to shoot it into a particle accelerator. Yeah, that sounds safe. Why do you got to be the fucking guy? You got a PhD. Actually, I think the reason may be because you have only one PhD. So this is... a problem, naturally. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Yeah. It's only the start of the end of the world. I love those, like, old effects. Those old pixely effects. I, like, I bet when people first saw them, they were like, wow. It's like real life. Oh, I love playing Morrowind with you. <laughs> this is a good era for weird shit in PC games, yeah. Unforeseen consequences. What if, um... What if, uh, Freeman is, like... Uh... A changeling? And this was his duty all along. <laughs> I bet there's a fan fiction out there like that. Maybe. This if actually, not, I'm ready it. This actually might be part of somebody's plan, but not Freeman. What's Half-Life Alex? Half-Life Alex is the most recent Half-Life game. Uh, and it it's good? only in VR, and it takes place between 1 and 2. But it's about the female... Um, Sidekick in two, you play as her and kick some ass. Wow, that guy got so, it pretty hard. He got it pretty damn hard. But so, is there any of the original guys working on Half Life still? No. No. I wonder who took over. Uh, actually, there might be a few. Um, I know that the original writer has left. 
Oh, I hope you guys didn't hear that. Excuse yeah. me if you did. Laying down after eating is not a great idea. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? So, so, go on. Go on. Sorry. We have we have um, basically, we put a chunk of alien energy rock into uh, the hadron collider, and uh, we ripped open an unstable portal between the realms, and now we've got a problem to deal with. You know, I can tell every time you turn around and check on the cats, and I don't know if, you, like, people who regularly watch you know that that's what you're doing every time your voice fades off just a little bit, but I know. Yeah. Well, I also have the webcam up so they can see me look over my, they can see me look over my shoulder at them. Like, what are those bitches doing? So, Alfie. Yes. Sweet Starlight. Yeah. When uh, when did you get into Half Life, and how did you get into it, and you know what made it so influential to you? Um, I have been into Half Life for so long, I don't even know if I can answer that with some, like, I don't you even know it. if I can answer that like confidently. Um, well, I mean, were you like a wee youngin, like oh, three yeah, years I was old, a baby. or were... oh wow, okay. like probably single digits. You know, from the moment I looked at these little tiny tick creatures, I think the first thing I said to you was, "Wow, they're cute." Head crabs are kind of cute, yeah. They make them proper yucky in in two, but and in uh, Alex as well. Oh I'm like invested in this game. I can barely hear, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. I'm very, like I, I, I'm forgetting to say things because I'm invested. <laughs> um. So this is the crowbar. At this time, um, it was standard for you didn't have a button that you hit to just make the guy do a melee attack. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case of fires, do not use elevators. You hit the elevator button and people just plummet, screaming. You did so, that, Freeman. You killed those people. Good pretty job. Much. You're a murderer. They won't be the last. That guy doesn't always die. Jim ate the weird microwave soup. So, um... Gordon Freeman has been trained in the use of guns. Uh, it was actually part of his job for some reason. I guess because he works for the government. I don't want to ask this because I don't want to get judged, but did that look Yannick to you? Oh, absolutely. Okay, look at this fucking wonderful. thing. Yep. And... Consider this, right? The head crabs are basically the same goddamn thing as the face hugger from Aliens, right? Yeah. It's an alien that attaches to your face and makes a monster. But whereas Correct. the face hugger is phallic and impregnates you and then leaves, you know, it it nuts and then it leaves. Right. The face hugger stays on you and turns you into the monster. It's an interesting way of twisting you know, a very basic idea of the face hunger uh, into its own new thing. I fucking hate that I, like, when I learned what the face hacker, uh, hugger was actually doing to you, I was like, I hate every piece of that information. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate its weird little thingies. Yeah. I don't know, I just... Get that off you, bud. You've suffered enough. Yeah. Hard life. So, okay, so the people who are working on Half-Life now, yeah. are they, like, so do the old guys have any influence on it? Did they give it up? Was it, like, under animosity? Was it... I'll be honest, I have no idea how to answer that. Ah, uh, that I is I don't okay. even know if there are, quote, people working on Half-Life, unquote. I mean, I mean, they had a game come out just last year. There must be, right? There, there is. 
So Valve Valve kind of works the same way that Google does. Go ahead. Yeah. Where um, if you want to work on something, you do. Which means that there is no obligation for them to make another Half-Life game if not enough people at the office want to. It's the name Gabe Newell. Gabe Newell's the big man. He's the big guy in charge. So he would be the one who's like, would have influence, right? Yeah, and he doesn't have interest. What's he working on now? Do you know? No idea. I think he's just counting his money. Another thing about Half-Life specifically, though, is that... New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. One thing about Half-Life in particular is that um, whenever whenever Half-Life comes out, they always try to push the bar. They try to raise the bar. Um, and part of, the, part of the thing with that was, oh, shit, we can do something cool and new with VR? Let's make a Half-Life game for it, you know? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna redefine physics engines. We're gonna invent video game scripting. Half-Life, you know? And I think that might just be their thing, you know? Yeah. Which is on one level noble, but it means that there are only three fucking Half-Life games. Yeah. Doing better than some series is. Yeah. Just think about Final Fantasy X. Only two games. <laughs> I still gotta finish that. Still gotta. Um, take this out. Yeah. <laughs> Th those those are just classic moments. So before before Half Life came out. You either had cutscenes or you had like text scrolls. <gasps> oh, you almost made it. You had text scrolls in between uh, levels telling you what the plot was. Uh, and Half Life is the first game to have scripting, which is to say, like, oh, a good sound I'm hearing. I'm hearing it too. I don't remember how to open this. It's been too long mm. since I played Half Life. Like, I I do enjoy playing games that I remember fondly. That looks like something. Hmm. Oh, look in the box behind you. This thing right will fill there? up your health if you need. Oh, that's just in first. Uh, that's first aid. Um. Well, I found the problem here, Alfred. Yeah. You're not authorized personnel. <laughs> <laughs> not authorized on button use. There he is. Oh, it's a puppy. These are called hound eyes. The Mexican oh, jumping beans in the Half-Life world. Okay, those have to be the cutest Half-Life monster. They're pretty good, yeah. They've got this interesting, unique uh, thing where they'll go sniff and investigate sounds. They're really cool. Oh man. Something is happening in that vent. Cool. <laughs> you just see some feet getting pulled in there and then meat. I like how I see a game like this. Right? It's it's a horror, but mostly, you know, I would consider it an action game, right? Yeah. And I see guts flying and stuff, and I'm like, aha, look at that guy getting torn to pieces. And then I, like, play a horror game, and I see someone's gut, guts, like, gushing everywhere, and I'm, like, fucking traumatized. And it's literally just ambience, and that's it. Well, one thing that was interesting about this, the development of this game, Gabe Newell talked about this as well. Specifically, they were like, man, in Doom, like, Doom could be so scary if they wanted it to be, but you're just mowing through these guys that used to be your, like, colleagues. Like, if they wanted to play it scarier, they could, and... <clears throat> I love little Jack in the box out of there. 
Yeah. Me too, though. I would I would hide in a dumpster in this situation. Yeah, he says that this is my hiding place. Don't tell anyone. So, this is this is a this is a cool friend. Hey, isn't that the one guy from Star Wars? You're really gonna have to narrow it down. There were multiple guys in Star Wars, at least three. Um, he was old. <laughs> uh huh. And he was like, Wah. and he and he pretended to be good for a long time, and he was like Anakin's like um mentor, who's like to the dark side. Darth Sidious. Yeah. Remember how he was like with his fingers? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Here, hold on, I gotta I got something for you. Mm-hmm. You can continue talking, I just say. So in this era of first person shooters, there wasn't a button that you could hit to just make melee happen. Um, and so you had to physically switch to a, a weapon that would only hit things right in front of you. Um, which is why things like the crowbar exist. Uh, and like, usually for this era, you can literally point and look at what is the uh, melee weapon for this game. And this one has the crowbar, and it's great. It's iconic. Oh, God. Uh, Sarah has sent me a picture of Emperor Palpatine shooting some Sith lightning. Go Sith lightning, go. So this elevator is a reference to Akira. Uh, because oh they God, also have a I huge... Sent you, I sent you that one picture of, of uh, Darth Sidious, and now my computer is, like, dying. They really just be scooting. Is your stuff scooting too? Uh, I'm talking about the head crabs, but. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, you said this is an Akira reference. Yeah, this elevator. Mhm. Mm Do you remember when they go down the elevator to go see Akira? Akira is the fucking keeper dream. He's the he's the man in the jars. Do you, um, do you think there was elements of Akira that inspired Evangelion? Absolutely. I mean, what didn't get inspired by Akira? Yeah. And... What an, what an amazing movie that, like, everything, everything that's, like, took influences from Akira, I like better. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, same thing with Evangelion, and I like watched Evangelion with you, and I was like, wow, what an amazing creator, very interesting piece of media, it, I, something I wouldn't call my favorite, you know? Yeah. Ooh, do those mad hops. I'll do it. What the hell is Freeman doing in his off time that makes him so athletic? Okay, this is not a joke. People ask this, and so they put it in the game. Canonically, Freeman has won the Office Decathlon multiple times. Office Decathlon? No, yes. you're fucking kidding me. Yeah, they have a decathlon and he has won it. And all I get is a fucking lab week. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Wait, there what? he is. So this is the first like, barnacle you find. Oh, I love the barnacles. And the first bull squid. Or as you know them, Cthulhu dogs. Oh, he's so cute. They are. Um, yeah, so everyone was like, how, how come Fre Freeman is so fucking athletic and, and lithe and cat-like and shit? It's like, oh, uh, not only does his job require him to be fit physically, he also has entered and won the decathlon. So check this out. Ooh. Big scary barrel crush machine. And then, 
I'm trying to get caught by one of these. You little bastard. Oh, God. It worked. Yummy. So, yeah. Like, I mean, I guess. I guess it would make sense for, like, a big government corporation to also be its own, like, biohazard waste facility, I guess. Yeah. If it was government-based, but... <sighs> I mean, that in and of itself is a is a risk, you know, to have your facil biohazard facility, your, you know, waste in the same place that is producing the waste like yeah because then you don't have a lot of oversight you know there's no guarantee on it because it, it's all one guy man how cool would like a half-life show be as long as it wasn't about gordon i'm sold okay half-life but it's filmed like the office <laughs> <laughs> lousy Popping off outside. Oh, you hearing fireworks? Uh, yes. Alternatively, murder death. I think I heard somewhere that if they echo, then they're fireworks, and if they don't, they're guns. But the thing is, I've heard guns echo before, so I don't know what the hell is right. I think if you need to know which one is which, I think it means you live in the United States of America. I think it means you live in, like... St. Louis, Topeka, um, fucking Compton. Jesus. You know, honestly, just name a bunch of cities. I think there's very rarely a safe city in America. Oh, man. This is still looks pretty good for... It yeah. looks good. That's it. What's That's up? all I have. I love I love the color that I love the coloring they use in this game because like yes. usually games this old look very flat and kind of dull and you're just like oh that's a bunch of fucking pixels but that's, like yeah that's one of the things like Half Life has, has a good mastery style. of color Doom is so fucking gray and green and red and Quake is fucking brown I I would say that Half Life has an art style wouldn't you. Um, I can see that, yeah. I can understand why people wouldn't want to say that, but I think it does. Yeah, one thing about Half-Life is that it has always tried to be, like, it, it is a video, god damn it, I'm... I, I am watching you go in circles here, man. I know. And that's the third circle. <laughs> I'm lost, okay. Okay, go, go to the door right in front of you. This door. No, no, no. That I, one right there. I've been trying to. <laughs> this is my problem, you see. I wonder if I can go in here. I can. Uh, your mouse is on the screen, by the way. Was that intentional? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that reminds me. It's been like 45 oh, hey. minutes. I should uh, pause this recording. Get no, wait, wait. Get caught on one of those things? And maybe you're supposed to get caught. And then you can jump onto the other place from there. Fuck. Okay, it was an idea. It was an idea, but we should pause this recording and come back on another one, yeah? Oh, okay. Can we do another one? I'm having such a good time with you, Alfred. Obviously. We'll come back and do another one, but for the sake of the video. Are you having a good time with me? Of course I am, Sully. Oh, I love you. Do you want to do the outro? Oh, yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. What's your name? It's Sarah. I'm Alfred. I hope everyone has a good day. Thank you for watching Half-Life. Yeah, have a good day, everyone. See ya. See ya.